Hey guys, Scott here from RC Skunkworks. This is an aircraft that I'm super excited about. It's a Freewing SU-35. Yeah, I know, this one's been around, around for quite a while, but it's my first one. Anyway, for the last few days I'm putting it together, and before I tape up the hatches for a final time, I'd just like to give you guys a quick walk around to show you what I've done. So let's start at the front. I decided not to glue on the nose cone and went for a magnetic attachment idea as you find on your later more modern freewing models and this works really well I'm happy with that you also see that I've gone and placed the LED in that front sensor pod I thought this might come in handy when you blow the horizon on approach just gives you that directional orientation it's pretty bright I've also placed another green LED in the cockpit here just to enhance that Soviet cockpit green colour scheme I put in I think it's also pretty cool. You also notice that I've gone and put in my remote receivers in the front. That was just to get them as far away from the noise as possible. Now with this uh, Soviet cockpit green, I did find a colour match down at my local hardware store down at Bunnings. It ended up being a tempered turquoise. And all I did was just bought a little sample pot. I guess for you guys over in the States, if you guys go down to your local Lowe's or Home Depot to the paint shop there, you'll be able to find the same thing. Okay, let's move on down to the battery bay. I'll just remove this hatch. Here we go. As you can see, I can easily fit in a graphene 6000 milliamp 6 cell battery. What I'll do now, I'll just remove this battery and give you guys a closer look at what I've done inside the bay here. Okay, the battery's out. I just want to give you guys a close look. As you see, I've got a 1mm carbon fibre sheet. This is a battery platform to attach that Velcro to. you also notice that I fiberglass the whole interior on the bottom and also up into the apex of the leading edge and also on the top surface here. So this whole section here, right up to here and also on the other side, it's all been fiberglassed. It's very strong, it's also very light. I've also decided to put strobe lights on the trailing edge of the wingtips to hopefully also help with just orientation issues. What I'll do now is I'll flip her over and to show you guys how I've installed the motors and the ESCs. The first thing I did was to remove the standard power system. I replaced the EDF units with this free wing combo kit counter rotating or alloy fans. They're said to put out 2.2 kilos of thrust each which will give me a greater than 1 to 1 thrust ratio. I also have installed these Hobby Wing 100 amp electronic speed controllers. The reason why they're all the way back here is just to get the CG right with those large batteries I'm using in the front. If we move further up the line, you'll come up to what I call the avionics bay. Up here, I have the free wing gyro and also my receiver. You can see why now I've placed all my remote receivers up in the cockpit. The last thing you want to do is put all your remote receivers down in this mess. It's just not going to work. And this little hatch will screw down quite nicely. One last thing. I've also covered up these cheetah holes with plastic. If you ask me, I think they're totally un unnecessary. There's no reason for them. If you look down the front here, you've got direct ram airflow right to the fan, no restrictions. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes with these cheetah holes covered up, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Well guys, that concludes the free wing SU-35 walk around. 
I hope you found it interesting. Tomorrow I'll give this aircraft a maiden flight and we'll get a video up online really soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.